Hello my tables. So for this week it will be on the cardiovascular system. So I've taken some pictures from Moncara Basic Histology Text and Atlas. That's to this textbook. And also there will be seven slides you will draw today. So let's get on to it. The first specimen is your heart. So it's important to know that the heart is logically has three layers, okay? And we will go from innermost to outermost okay so th the innermost layer is your in internal or your endocardium internal endocardium innermost so it first will tackle on endothelium endothelium is just lined by your simple squamous epithelium okay so it's part of your endocardium Below the endothelium, that's why it's called sub, sub endothelium is your sub endothelium layer. If we go lower there in this area here, you will see our, that layer is now known as your sub endocardium layer, no? It's nearing the myocardium. And within this sub endocardium layer, you will see or come to appreciate your Purkinje fibers is very important as it is one of the heart's impulse conducting system okay it's one of the heart's impulse conducting system so uh do your best to identify this and to familiarize yourself with this in the pictures shown in the textbooks or atlases and below that area you will see the thickest layer no and this is a bulk of muscle uh cardiac muscle tissue uh, that's in the middle layer of your heart and that's in the myocardium layer okay so you will see here your cardiac muscles where do you see again your Purkinje fibers in the sub endocardium layer of your endocardium and if you go lower there here we will come to the epicardium so we will discuss that in the next uh, slides as there will be a photo shown, okay? So I just want to emphasize here in the lower picture the presence of your Purkinje fibers or your heart's, one of your heart's impulse conducting systems, okay? So again, that is found in the layer of your endocardium, specifically in your sub-endocardium layer, okay? So this is in the sub-endocardium layer. Because above your subendocardium layer is your connective tissue here. So see what's labeled CT. And this is your subendothelium. Why is it called sub? Because it is below your endothelium, no? And it's lined by simple squamous epithelium. So this is just another picture in the next slide. Again, your endothelium uh, innermost layer. And this is part of your end endocardium lined by your endothelium is lined by simple squamous epithelium below that is your sub endothelium layer and here you will see similar to the picture shown here okay in the textbook and this is taken from another lab it's you will see the and come to appreciate your Purkinje fibers it's very similar to the ones in the textbooks so please familiarize yourself with that okay uh Purkinje fibers, if we be more specific, it's located in the sub-endocardial cardium or cardial layer. Alright, so disregard this lung. So if we go textbook, description, sub-endocardial layer. And next is a main bulk of cardiac muscle fiber tissue. Or cardiac muscle tissue, which is in your myocardium layer, the middle part. Okay, so... Here again is a representation, cross-sectional gihapon, EN endocardium layer, uh, sorry, endothelium lined by simple squamous epithelium. Purkinje fiber seen here, your P, so this is in the sub endocardial layer of your endocardium. Okay, and then muscle fibers here this is in your myocardium layer which is the thickest layer all right and then same representation lang. i just want to repeat this again and again because sometimes it can be confusing and this is your epicardium so but this is the reverse already okay 
so this is now from outer outermost and if we go up you will see, if we just imagine going up we, it we will see the myocardium like in the previous slides and the endocardium layer so the epicardium is or your visceral pericardium again this is lined by simple squamous mesothelium just like your endothelium and the endocardium layer it will always be lined now by simple squamous mesothelium again you will see supportive connective tissue here you will see nerves just like the definition of nerves if you find it elsewhere aside from uh, the nervous system it will be in a way wavy like uh, in appearance no uh, and this is it this is a nerve the EP will stand for your epicardial or epicardium layer all right and you will also see fat cells and connective tissue so this is what you will see in your epicardium or epicardium layer the outermost layer of the heart and yeah that's what you'll come to appreciate so now we will go to the blood vessels so here to make learning easier you use this table as the guide okay because what we will try to really come after is the number of layers of smooth muscles that's one of the ways to distinguish Jud an elastic artery or a large a artery from a muscular artery and so on and so forth okay so let's just take note that the elastic artery has a diameter of more than 10 millimeters it has more than 50 50 or more alternating smooth muscle layers with elastic lamellae okay and you, in the adventitial layer there is vasa vasorum so the intimal layer is the innermost layer okay media it is the mid layer and adventitia it is the outer layer so we divide this into tonics or layers and these are the three and we'll just also take note the roles in the circulatory system though this was already discussed in your lecture all right so the from muscular arteries it's one millimeter to ten millimeters they have internal elastic lamina prominent and also so with your elastic arteries okay i'll show that in the next slide they have 10 to 40 layers of smooth muscle cells alternating with your elastic lamellae and in your adventitial layer you will still come to appreciate vasa vasorum and there's connective tissue as well small arteries so we're getting smaller now 0.1 millimeter to 1 millimeter they have 3 to 10 smooth muscle layers uh alternating with your elastic lamellae and now you will not witness any more vasa vasorum okay so sometimes your vasa vasorum as what i will show in the next slide will help you aid and pinpoint what lay what type of artery you are at all right and arterioles 10 to 100 micrometers one to three layers of smooth muscle cells so it's really one of the smallest najud and just to take note that this has a major determinant in your systemic blood pressure, okay? Because it resists and controls blood flow to the capillaries. Capillary is the middle man to everything, no? Before your uh, blood from your arteries will go to your venules and veins, okay? So since uh, we'll go along to small veins, since that's what you're required to draw in medium veins. So take note of the diameter, 0.1 to 1 millimeter and it has two to three layers of smooth muscle cells okay so compared to your small arteries they have much less layers two to three your small arteries have three to ten all right and they collect blood from the venules okay so it's going in this direction the blood from elastic artery muscular small arterioles capillary middle man blood vessel and then it goes to your venules small veins medium to large veins and so on and so forth okay and finally your medium vein uh, same diameter one millimeter to ten millimeter they have three to five uh, layers now as compared to your muscular layer muscular arteries or medium arteries which has 10 to 40 they only have three to five 
and they carry blood now to your larger veins and there's no backflow due to the presence of valves okay so now we can understand this and go through this faster this is your aorta so your aorta is also known as your elastic arteries large arteries elastic or your conducting arteries okay so what we should take note of is that in your aorta they have more than 50 layers smooth muscles interspersed or alternating with your elastic lamellae so you will notice you will focus dread on the tonica media because they're the ones that have the most layers 50 no as i was previously stated so it's very thick that's why i placed here so this is my pictures and i was in med school uh, this is the LPO, again identifiable as large artery since only one par only part or one third of the artery can be visualized when you view it. Again, note the thickest layer, the tonica. The thickest layer is your tonica media. Okay, we should also take note on the tonica intima, the regular lumen, and the internal elastic lamina. Lamina. So for if we're talking about arteries also. One way to distinguish distinguish them from veins is the regularity and the circle shaped appearance of the lumen. Okay, so here the lumen is very circular. If it's vein pane, it's very oblong or it doesn't hold a definite shape in a circle. All right. So, uh, with regards to tonic elastic arteries, also you can see here the presence of your internal elastic lamina. Okay. Here, this evident wavy line here, that that this structure is in between your tonica intima and your tonica media. Okay, so it's between. Take note, and then finally your tonica adventitia. So in your tonica adventitia, you can see connective tissue already, what supports it, and so on and so forth. All right. In your aorta, you can also see vasa vasorum. So I'll show a picture of that next. So again, your aorta is also known as your elastic artery or conducting arteries. All the way in the second picture here, you ju it just shows goes to show you how you can appreciate this organ or specimen by the thick muscular layer of more than 50 uh, layers of smooth muscle alternating with your elastic lamina. Okay, so here in your next slide, again, you just see and appreciate the very thick tonica media. Okay, as to the right side, which is uh, your vena cava. With the thickest layer, if you're talking about veins, is usually their tonica adventitia. Okay, as to artery, which is your tonica media. And again, take note if it's vein gani, if it's a vein, irregular lumen. And if it's artery, regular or circular lumen. Thickest layer again is your tonica media, tonica adventitia for vein. Alright, so next we'll go to medium artery. Medium artery, so here you come to appreciate a regular or round lumen. Unlike the previous one where you only see one third, you see more of a bigger view. For your tonica, oh, sorry, for your medium veins, so, uh, sorry, medium vein someone for your medium arteries, they are also known as your distributing artery or your muscular artery. All right, take note and or medium artery. So, again, the thickest layer here you will come to see is your tonica media. Your tonica adventitia is present, and you can see vasa vasorum nerves, such as your nervi vasorum. And lymphatics. So we'll try to see the next picture where we can see these vasa vasorum or nervi vasorum. So here, these uh, the this text on the lower right side can help you identify that it's a medium artery. That's a regular round lumen. No remnants of RBCs. So usually you will see RBCs present if it's vein pa inside the lumen. No, but in your artery there are none. If you look closely, we can still see an internal elastic lamina present, just like in your aorta and your thick tonica media. Here is a 
very high power view where you can come to appreciate your internal elastic lamina and a thick smooth muscle layer denoting your tonica media how many layers again for a medium artery a 40 no okay we'll go to the next this is again your medium artery same descriptions as what i previously mentioned but here i just want to show or emphasize the presence of your nervi vasorum okay here nervi vasorum so this can't be vasa vasorum because if it's vasa vasorum or a blood vessel supplying a blood vessel that will supply your uh your blood vessel no because uh nervi vasorum again has substances present no it's not a open end lumen unlike your blood vessels you will see nerve fibers inside like here okay and it's wavy in appearance those are nerves again okay hence vasa vasorum was there a picture in the previous one that showed for that showed go on oh man it's not here all right uh show that na lang. but please also try to search the appearance of vasa vasorum in your uh, aorta because usually they are present within uh this large this large lumen no? they can be they can be present in your adventitial layer here no rounded lumen because they will bring oxygen and nutrients to local cells in the surrounding here that are too far from the lumen which is here no so to be nourished by blood there okay so usually your vasa vasorum are here vasorum are here okay we'll continue so medium vein we identify this by its slit like irregular lumen okay as what i mentioned earlier there can be remnants of red blood cells like here no it's very evident and you can't really identify it uh, based on the thickness of the tonica adventitia. Though, as what you mentioned before, tonica adventitia is the thickest layer for veins. Alright? So, again, they have a diameter of 1 to 10 millimeters. Their tonica media has 3 to 5 layers of smooth muscle cells. And their tonica adventitia is the thickest layer. Alright? So, that's how you identify your medium vein. So we're coming to the end already. So we'll go now to your arterioles. Okay. So let's just focus on arterioles. No more, uh, no more capillaries or venules, because that's we're not required to draw that. So for your arterioles, they have a diameter of ten to one hundred micrometer. They only have some books say one to three, some say one to four, but let's stick to one to three smooth muscle layers. No. So remember the smooth muscle, you will always see nuclei, okay? That's how you can help count uh, and their nuclei is even fusiform. I remember the description correctly. So here we'll count one, look here in the photo, one, two, three, or even if we count this four. So there are around four layers, no? Smooth muscles. So that's why it fits the category that, uh, sorry, uh, we'll, we'll focus on this one here this arterial in the middle no okay it it holds true to the definition so one two three four so it's very small so uh this is an arterial nonetheless this one uh you can also count it but there are lots of nuclei present but according to paulina and ross uh, this is still classified as an arterial, all right? So if we, so let's just focus on this drawing here. I'm going to box this green. So it won't really confuse you. And even this one, gamay. Okay. Uh, and this is just another... Uh, this just shows you... What I box here is just capillaries. But this doesn't need to be drawn so just disregard these okay so we'll just focus on arterioles and this is it 
All right, so also what I just wanted to mention, if you, you're confused before, blood goes to the venule, it passes through capillaries. All right, that's why your arterials is one of the major determinants for systemic blood pressure. So this is the end point where blood will now go to your uh, venules, no? into your small, large, and medium veins. So the last part is just a picture of your small and ve small vein and small artery. So I checked the two textbooks, but there weren't uh, pictures shown, so I got this from the internet. Credits to these two sources, due credits to them. And then, so we'll just, again, classify uh, small arteries. No? They have a diameter of 0.1 to 1 millimeters. They have 3 to 10 layers of smooth muscles. Okay, there is no more nervy vas nerve there's no more vasa vasorum present. The vasa vasorum ends in your uh it ends in your medium arteries. Oh, there's no picture. Okay, so and also they distribute blood to the arterioles. So con you can appreciate here your small artery because the tunica media is still thicker okay it has a regular like lumen though it has remnants of red blood cells so we'll focus on the tunica media also and the shape of the lumen as to here with your vein very thin tunica media the adventitial layer is thicker and there's remnants of red blood cells okay and for your small veins they have around two to three layers of smooth muscle Okay, Tanaka Adventist is kind of unremarkable. Alright, and same representation here. This is actually better, no? The picture below for your small artery. Sorry. Small artery and your vein. But here, the one, this vein picture here is really characteristic, no? Very irregular, slit like shape. It's very little layers, no? It's the criteria of two to three layers of smooth muscle. Can I, this one? What else? And yeah, that's it. All right, so that's all for this week. Thank you.